Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, this is my wife Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on YouTube and on Instagram. And today we have a what sold for you guys. This is everything that has sold while we were away in North Carolina for FlipCon. We had a great time and we're way out of practice. <laughs> we came to the stores today, we forgot our battery. So we have no lights. So I think what we're gonna do is pull all the items and then we'll meet you guys at the house where we have some light and we'll show you everything there. So we're gonna take a few minutes, get everything pulled, and we'll meet you guys back at the house. All right guys, that was two full, very full Hulkin bags and some glass fragile stuff that we gotta be careful with, but We'll get that stuff back to the house and then Kathy's gonna tell us all about it. All right guys, so we're back. Uh, we had lunch and now we're here in our living room. <laughs> this is one room that we have not painted yet. So this is actually the next room we're gonna be painting. Um, but it, yeah, we're, we're, we don't like this red. <laughs> so we're gonna paint it like we did in Kathy's office, which- and We're not in there because you can see <laughs> yeah. that. You can see it, it's a working office and we got the natural light coming in from the backyard, so hopefully yeah, it goes okay. But this room will be a lot brighter in the future. <laughs> and it'll actually have furniture. We have this one chair. That's what the other people That's left. What, <laughs> they left that chair here. Yep. All right. Um, I think this is close to half of them. Maybe I'll just jump in. Kind of a weird way to do things, but here we go. This is actually going out to our viewer, Zach. So thank you so much, Zach. Uh, he bought this little cup that I got from the bins probably a couple weeks ago before we left on our trip. Um, $2.43 is what I paid that day, and Zach bought it for $10.88 plus ship. So thank you, awesome. Zach. Awesome. Zach, thank you so much for all the support. We appreciate you very much. I really like that cup. Yeah. These little Converse toddlers, these were my sons. I don't remember what I paid, but I accepted $15 offer on Posh, so I'm making back 12 both my kids wore those. Um, this Under Armour hat um, came from the bins as well. So I had 201 into it that day, into 15 someone offered. So okay. love that for a hat. I kind of wish we would have brought that. We, we have not brought that bigger table. This I is know. just a, a <laughs> short little table, but because we're gonna have to do this in a few takes. I was gonna like ship. I already pulled out the shipping stuff for this. Yeah. But there's a lot to go through today, so. I don't know if we have time for all that. Yeah. Um, we actually have another viewer sale going out to Suzanne. Thank you so much. She just wanted to thank or congratulate us for getting the house. So awesome. Thank you, Suzanne. She bought this LL Bean like cardigan, and then I forgot the brand. I think these are like those Merkley vintage like wool beanies. So okay. those total for the bundle was thirty three seventy four plus shipping, and I had eleven oh two total into all the. All the things. Awesome. Thank you. Suzanne, thank you so much for the support. We do appreciate it very much. We are very much loving the house. Yes. Still got lots of work to do. Yes. <laughs> All right. This one I was just so happy to see sell. I think I'm making $5 profit after a very long time, but it's a life is good tea. I bought it because I thought people like wine yeah. stuff. But and dogs. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know if it was because it's lemons extra small. I usually honestly don't pick up that size, but mm. this was so long ago that I just probably didn't even think about it. It's also long sleeve. I don't know if long sleeve stuff just doesn't sell as well. Right. Definitely wouldn't pick up again based on the size. Maybe if it was like a 2X or above, I might. Mm -hmm. But I paid $8.84 retail arbitrage and finally sold for 20 with discount shipping, so. Okay. I don't always pick up this brand. I just thought these were super cute. Vince Camuto. They're like a espadrille. I don't know, sandal, but. I don't know what you would call these shoes, but I thought they were cute. So I bought them for $10.99 and sold them for $29 plus shipping. These are those Tyler BKE jeans that were in a recent bin haul. So $201 into $35.56 plus shipping. Wow. Not too bad. I never find these at the regular thrift. Well, I find them a lot, but they mark them out to like $15 plus. So yeah. I don't usually buy them, but the men's BKE jeans seem to do really well. Specific model. So check your sell through, but. Mm -hmm. These ones are Tiva. Um, I've had these forever. I'm so glad they finally sold. I paid $10.99, I want to say, a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, they finally sold for $24.88 plus shipping. So maybe making $10 profit there. Cool. Yeah. 
least you're making profit. I'm attributing <laughs> these older things selling to like just me doing the self similars and relists. Yeah. So these last two months have been very little listing <laughs> new stuff. I so. know. I'm still like, yeah, we just got back from our trip. So this is sales from basically last Tuesday until now Monday. I think it's like 50 something things, but mm -hmm. I only listed 10 the whole week we were gone. So and you were on time away with yeah, eBay. I was not expecting a whole lot of sales. So I'm very happy with what actually came through. Do you want to take a quick second and say what you did to all your stores? You did time away on eBay. Um, yeah. So and that was a bit. That was it, right? <laughs> yes. Um, so people could still buy when you're in time away. It just yeah. tells them, you know, your item's going to take a while to get to you. Yep. It changes the handling yeah. time and then we can automatically send a message. I didn't actually make that much eBay sales. A lot of these are from Posh because I didn't turn anything off on Posh. I also did not message people when they bought. Like in the past, I'm just yeah super anxious person who is like, I don't want to disappoint <laughs> them. So I'm going to yeah. you know, say, tell them every single person that buys something, it's going to ship this day. And if that's too long, let me know. I'll cancel. Right. I didn't do that. I just let it go. Nobody said anything. So. I do lie. I said it to this one person because it happened like right as we were driving to the airport. Oh. So I was like, man, this is like six full days. So yeah. I'll tell them. Well, they sent an offer mm -hmm. and I just told them I'm happy to accept, but it won't ship till then. And they said that's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. So. I think most people would be cool with it. So. Uh, so that was posh. And then. Did you have to do anything for Mercari? Mercari. I put on vacation for a few days because I didn't want mm. anyone to buy because it's technically like, I think, three day shipping. Yeah. And it was going to be almost a week. So I had it go on VK and it automatically went back on on Friday. So, okay. yeah, I don't think any of these sales are from Mercari. Maybe one. Okay. All right. This Nomadic Traders is from the bins a while back. Paid two eighty one dollars into twenty two twenty one dollars plus shipping. Hey. So those Tiva, I've had these forever. They're retail arbitrage. I paid $15. i have sold one or two pairs, but I think I have one more left after these. And someone offered 30, so I just accepted. I'm making 24, so like an eight or nine dollar profit. Not the best, but I had multi quantities, so if you think about making eight or nine bucks on like one, yeah. technically one listing, that's not too bad. These are the Superstar, they're like a kid size. I did pay up to 15 for them because they were new with tag, but they finally sold for 35, 56 plus ship. They've been listed a while. This. Sold. This is from the bins a long time ago. Um, it's looking at me. It's a shark, it's right? It's a hammer <laughs> shark, I think, yeah. Mental headgear, but it is kid size, like a fleece beanie. Mm -hmm. I guess people wear these for skiing. I don't know if it has a purpose or just to look cool. Not sure. But I knew they sold well, so I grabbed it for 207 that day into 20 Someone offered 20 Cool. This is a brand I'd never heard of. Sometimes when I'm getting shoes, a bunch of shoes, I'll just take a chance on a new brand. Um, I did on these because they were basically like new, oh, pretty close to new. Yeah. The brand is Fly Flut, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Um, and they say, said made in Italy and a lot of like clogs, mules type shoes have done well. So I took a chance, probably wouldn't again. They've sat for over a year. Mm. Um, finally sold for $22.21 plus shipping, but I paid $8.99 for them. So. Was that one that you've recently relisted or anything? Or? Yeah, I okay. think everything is in the last month. So you've relisted your whole closet pretty yeah, much? Yeah, because eBay, everything ends within 30 days. So oh, duh. every yeah. day I would end whatever's <laughs> ending that day and put it back up, changing the price on most of them. So yeah, I've lowered the price on those, which is what's causing them to sell, I think. Okay. And then just making it a fresh listing. So yeah. And then on Poshmark, on Poshmark VA, I did finally... <laughs> I always say, I'm going to do this, and then I don't, but um, how you can, like, set it now to automatically in the morning or whatever time you of day. You can schedule the real yeah, thing. Yeah, schedule the relist. So every morning, I think I put it to, like, 40, but I never have that many because it also has to be 60 days. Mm -hmm. It has to have been listed 60 days. That's my parameters that I put in, so. Right. Because Poshmark won't put it to the top unless it's been over that long, so. Anyways, I've noticed like the last week or so, only a few will relist every day. So. Okay. But yeah, that means everything in my closet That's... has been relisted in the last month. So cool. happy about that. It's a cool new feature of Posture VA. Yeah. If you have not tried it out, it is a free two-week trial. You don't even have to give your credit card. Go check it down in the description. We do have videos on all that. Check out our videos before you yeah. decide to use it. I so. think at least 30 of these sales came just from Poshmark, and I didn't do anything on Poshmark this week, so that's just from it. Yeah. Posture VA shared, sent offers all week long for me. So. Use code GINGER. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of codes in the description. <laughs> yeah. uh, this mar Marmot flannel. 
took a while to sell. I bought it probably last year around this time for $5 and finally sold for $20 with discount shipping. So not a huge profit, but I like the brand. So I yeah. usually grab it. I also like flannels. I like saying marmot. It's flannel season. <laughs> Uh, these little play shoes I bought for five. They sold for twenty-five. That was an offer I accepted. It's hard to think that it's flannel season, flying through like Dallas and being in North Carolina, where it's like nineties and hundreds. I know. This morning was chilly here, though. Yeah, it was in so the fifties. I'm still wearing my. <laughs> I wear this all the time. But we're back I, to normal <laughs> weather. Right? I wore long sleeves every day we were in Charlotte, but in the, in the room in the hotel. Yeah, the hotel. Stuff, it was freezing. Yeah. So glad we did. <laughs> Uh, these are some Skechers like suede heeled booties. Bought for six ninety nine, sold for thirty three. Does that touch my? Yeah, someone offered thirty three. I accepted. Cool. Some Reebok CrossFit lifter shoes. I did pay fifteen for these. They usually just do well. This specific one with the like very flat bottom. Mm -hmm. um, sold for fifty four. That was my fullest price after I, you know, Posh or VA relisted. I, I do like look in the mornings and then drop price. Mm -hmm. You can set it to do that too, but like I think you have to set a percent and I don't I don't drop everything the same percent. Sometimes I don't drop the price, so I yeah. just do that myself in the mornings. Yeah. But yeah, I think I originally had them at like 68 or something, which was too much, but once I dropped to 54, someone just bought them outright. Miss Champion Hawaii hoodie mm -hmm. sold for 31 with discount shipping. That did come from the bin, so 201's all I paid for that. All right, these sold for my fullest price as well. I don't think I dropped the price. I think I've had these less than a month listed. Some ASICs, but they're like a nice trail. One, they do have tag, obviously no box. I paid 25 for these out of thrift, but I sold them for 79, so cool. worth it. I'm very happy about this sale because right before we left, literally like an hour before we left, and I was like debating even accepting the offer because I was like, you know, it's not gonna ship. Yeah. This person also had like offered, canceled, offered again. Mm. I don't know, that's just always like a red flag to me. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? I've had these for a while. Let me just go ahead and accept. I'll still make a decent profit. So these are Abercrombie, like the baggy jeans. I did pay $7.50 for them. I think they'd been listed at over 90 days at least. I thought these were gonna sell within like a week or something. Yeah. So. I was like, yeah, I, the offer the person sent was 30. And this was after I had relisted them and everything, lowered mm. price. So I was like, I'll just accept 30. I would have made like $15 profit or something. Yeah. After I accept, the person's like, oh my gosh, I didn't notice something about them. Either they were high rise or low rise or something like that. Opposite <laughs> of what they wanted. <laughs> so yeah, my red flag radar <laughs> was spot on on this one. And yeah, so I did cancel. I didn't even write them back, just canceled. Yeah. I blocked them because I just, that was too many red flags and I don't want them to be in my store again. But anyways, then on the way home on the airplane, when we like landed, I saw I had an offer for 50. So Ooh, very yeah. I canceled actually. So yeah, some 50 into 50. Not very many. nice. Yeah, this Abercrombie, I don't know why. I probably just overpriced them too much in the beginning. Sometimes I do that just to see what offers will yeah. come in. And sometimes that like kind of hurts you if you do that. So. Yep. Very happy with 50. I'm glad it worked out in the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then lastly, for this first round, are these Rock Revival jeans. They are new at Tag. I did pay $40 for these out of Goodwill, but they sold for $98 on Flash. So uh, the sell through was really good when I bought them. That's why I was willing to pay that. It was like, I want to say at least right around 100% sell through. It was a larger size. They are, yeah, women's 31. So okay. a larger size. The sell through was good they, on new at Tag, anyways. So I took a chance, thought I could double my money. I'm posh, 98, I'm probably making 30 something profit, so. Cool. Yeah, I was very happy with that. So All we'll right. pack this round up and be right back. All right, Kathy's got the next batch. We got all, that last batch all packed up. Ready to go. Ready to so go. <laughs> take it away. One hour till the kids get us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have these in a very particular order, so. <laughs> Again, small table. Yeah. <laughs> Wish we had a bigger table here. I was trying to find a box, you know. A lot of stuff you didn't see on the camera, <laughs> and then I'm just piling things here. So, these Clarks snakeskin heel I bought for $8.99, sold for $20 $21 plus shipping. Okay. I might just set things on the floor. So, we actually have a table after the set. Uh, these Corkies have been listed forever. Well, over a year, I believe. I paid $8.50 originally, sold for $22 $22 plus shipping. I still like this brand. I don't know if this is just because it's a Mary Jane style. It's also a suede. I feel like they're leather shoes. Well, suede is technically 
fancy leather, but you yeah. know me. The yeah. like nicer browner leathers mm -hmm. do pretty well, so I'm still making at least 10 bucks, so not too bad. These Crocs, I did pay $9.99. I just can't help myself with the Crocs. <laughs> These ones sold for $21.01 plus ship, so not even quite doubling, probably maybe like $8 or $9 profit there. I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't help myself with the Crocs. These Asics wrestling shoes, bought for $8.99, sold for $24.88 plus ship. Cool. Clark's Kaylee's are these ones. Uh, these basically looked new. I debated paying up for them at $12.99 just because they're a women's 12. So sometimes that sells fast, sometimes it sits forever. Mm -hmm. But these sold, I want to say fairly quickly, for $35, $56 plus ships, so not too bad. Cool. And this, they didn't say they were a viewer. I want to say they are just because they bought four pairs of shoes. So if you are Jennifer, thank you so much. Um, she bought these sass. Um, these Saludos, like a cute little fruit print. Cool. Um, these Skechers, like a mint green wedge. And then some Naturalizer. So, awesome. Yeah. Uh, total for the bundle they offered was 140 I was happy to accept. I have $38.92 into the four pairs, so just awesome. under $10 a pair, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. If you do happen to be a viewer, we do appreciate the support. These bogs, when my son's last winter, he wore the heck out of these. Mm -hmm. Like, they got the heel drag. I'm sure they're missing. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> I have a nail clipper in here. <laughs> Apparently, I packaged them with a nail clipper, so I'm very glad <laughs> I'm seeing that. Uh, that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> I wonder if the kid, I don't know, maybe the oh, kid no, shoved one in there or something. Ball. But we'll. <laughs> So those are going to be the repacks, but yeah. they still have a wash for $30, so. Hey, they might. Yeah. They could have got a free nail clipper. They probably would have got a return request, like, ew. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Oh, man. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Uh, this Shrek cookie cutter thing, when we were moving, I, you know, I bought this at the bins probably over a year ago, but I planned to use it. Um, I never used it. <laughs> I found it when we were moving and I was like, never used it. Probably I'm never going to use it. So yeah. let me just go ahead and list it. And it sold for 14 with discount shipping on Posh. So I'm probably making nine bucks or something. I'm mm -hmm. considering zero cost of goods since I was keeping it for myself. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm considering it a loss because I'm not getting any cookies. No. <laughs> so we've made cookies two times since I know. we lived here. <laughs> <laughs> mine were better than yours. Yes, they were. They were very much better than mine. <laughs> we think it's because, well, Chris is a butter snob. <laughs> I'm a butter snob. <laughs> Thumbs up for all the butter snobs out there. <laughs> he always buys the Kerrygold butter and yeah. that's all we had the day that I was baking. So yeah, I think it's why it tasted better. When he made his cookies, it was just like generic butter. I think I, like you actually softened your butter way, like I did like a yeah fast soften. soft hack where you put like a warm jar over it and all that. And it softened it, but I don't know if it kind of, I don't know. We're well, kind of getting too into cookies now, but <laughs> yours were definitely my, my better than mine. My softening trick was put it in the garage for, for like a couple hours. So. <laughs> garage butter, <Yeah>. yum. <laughs> um, this Fiesta Wear platter sold fairly quickly. That was in a recent bins haul, so two forty three into twenty one with discount shipping. So not too bad. And I remember the color was called what persimmon, persimmon right? Persimmon, per persimmon, persimmon, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Funky morning belt. That's cool. It was from I think the same bins haul, maybe. Yeah, it was a cool one. Charmander, yeah. Charizard. So that sold on eBay, yeah, for $15.98 plus shipping. I had about $201 into that. Cool. These products I paid $10.99 for. Just like a nice black leather Oxford. They sold for $28 with discount shipping on Posh, so probably about doubling my money on those. Now these new balance. I feel like I, you know, with the sell similars, I think these sold like within a day of me doing it to mm -hmm. them. So I paid $12.99. They sold for $44.46 plus shipping. So not too bad. Nice. These are play shoes, but these are called like the Jasper, the little guys. Well, you can't yeah, there's like some guys. artwork yeah, on there. Yeah, the artwork is um, glow in the dark. So this particular play shoe, the Jasper, it says it like right on the heel loop there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, these ones always sell for a little bit more than just the typical ones because they, it was like a limited one and okay. yeah, people just really like is it. Is it it's a hard. collab or anything? I don't think it's a collab. It's I think just it's like just a, a hard to find one, yeah. Okay. So I bought these off Kittizen. I think I paid 40 something for them mm. for my son to wear. Yeah. Um, 
and he did. And then I sold them back on Kitizen actually for $41.65, but with free shipping. So shipping was $6.85. I'm probably making back $30 okay. for them, so not too bad. But yeah, if you find those specific ones, probably price them at least $40. Okay. Um, these Merrill, just the Encore Breeze, I sell mm -hmm. these all the time. This pair I paid $7.99 into $30. That posh, yeah. So it's okay. offer $30. Hi, it's okay. Nice. Okay. And then these were also my son's Converse. Um, don't remember what I paid, but sold for $15 on posh, so making back $12. Uh, this was, I think I said this was probably sell around 10 bucks and it sold on Posh for 10 bucks. There's some bent. <laughs> it sold on Posh? Yeah. So I somebody paid, what, eight bucks to ship that, too? Yeah, probably almost 20 bucks for this. All oh, my time. gosh. So, <laughs> just a 50 count floss threaders. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I haven't looked at it, so. I've never paid more than like a dollar or two for floss, I don't think so. <laughs> this came from the bins. I put my cost of goods at zero, probably just because it weighs literally, literally nothing. Um, but yeah, someone offered 10. I think I listed it at 12, knowing Posh or VA would send 20% off with discount shipping. But this person must have just liked it and offered before they got that offer. So I'm very happy with that. I, I think a lot of people like dollars. buying stuff within the Poshmark app too, right? Yeah, so they probably had like some credit. credit yeah. yeah. All right, these Dr. Shoes sandals. Um, I paid five, sold for 22, 21 plus shipping. Dr. Shoes, I usually try to not pay more than five. I might pay like up to eight or so. Mm -hmm. If I really like them, you know, you can usually double your money, but. So huge bolo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I feel like there's been a couple pairs. I might've got like 44, but mm -hmm. usually 20. All right, these little baby Crocs we got at a garage sale recently for a dollar. This pair sold for 18.65 plus ship. And that's what I'm I talking about. turning a dollar into 18 dollars. Yeah. That's my jam. Uh, this I just bought because I thought it was cool. It's a vintage, like Oneida. I think it was single stitch. You could just tell it was a vintage tee, but it's like Santa Fe, New oh, Mexico, but with like puff like, paint. It's almost like, yeah, puff yeah. paint, huh? 3D. I thought it was really cool. So I did pay $1.25 for it. It's been sitting a while. I kept dropping the price. Finally sold for $13.31 plus shipping. Mm, okay. So probably $10 profit in there. Uh, these area, just like a slip-on shoe. I bought for $10.99. Someone offered $35. I was happy to accept that. Awesome. Are doing something? Oh, sweet baby. <laughs> he likes the sun. He looks super gray in the sun. <laughs> uh, this is just a like a men's pair of Skechers. Bought for $12.50. Sold for $35 with discount shipping. So bread and butter. Very nice. These, I bought, I don't know if I bought them for my son, but like, I bought them knowing my son might use them. Mm -hmm. If not, they would sell. I kept them in his closet till we moved. I thought, there's a little rock gym close by to us, and I was like, maybe we'll go there over the summer. We didn't, so. <laughs> anyway, so I bought them for $5.99. The brand is Black Diamond, mm -hmm. and they sold for $35 on Posh, so that's nice. pretty good still, so yeah. Specialty types of shoes like this sell pretty well. I think they retail around 60, so do you even get yeah, I think it's a, off. a you know? great deal for whoever bought them too, yeah. so yeah. Because I'm and sure hey, if you rent them there, they're probably like five bucks plus. Probably, online. yeah. But we've we've had a very busy summer, so yeah. <laughs> when you say we didn't do it this summer, yeah. we didn't do it this summer. I mean, I would have kept them longer, but I think Sai was pretty much gonna help yeah. those. Yeah, their feet are growing yeah. <laughs> quick. I do hope we go to that rock gym eventually. It looks fun. Yeah. Uh, these are just some Crocs flats. I bought for five. Someone bought them for my full list price on Posh of 35. So love that. Love that. Love that for me. <laughs> All right. These Crocs. I bought for $9.99. This pair sold for $31.11 plus shipping. Cool. Yeah. Uh, this is a viewer sale going out to Jessica. Um, two pairs of Comfortiva like booties. Super cute for the upcoming fall season. Uh, Jessica offered 85 for the bundle. I was happy to accept. I had $12.99 into each pair, so $26 into $85. Thanks so much. Awesome. Jessica, you said? Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so much. Hope you enjoy your new booties. I know she was going to be on vacation this week because she offered that like while we were at the airport on the way to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm happy to accept. It's going to be a week before we shift. And she yeah. was like, thanks, no problem. I'm going to be gone after that. So hope you're enjoying your vacation yeah. as well. All right, uh, these little Sea Kai Run snow boots I bought for five. They sold for 17 with discount shipping finally. 
I still love this brand for kids shoes but that was not a very big profit maybe like six bucks so these Nike flex runs I did pay probably too much for these I paid 10 um, they finally sold for 24 with discount shipping so that's probably seven or so dollars profit in my head I was like my kid can wear these if they don't sell mm -hmm. so if I make profit that's great if not he can have shoes for 10 bucks so I'd rather have eight dollars profit yeah he has shoes um this well let's save those for last that was oh we have some under here too Hmm. Either way, <laughs> we'll just do this one really fast. <laughs> so these little Clarks sold for $24.88 plus ship. They're like a burgundy, just like a nice slip on. I bought for $7.99, so not too bad. Oh. Bread and butter. And then these Vans. So these, I didn't see this when I bought them, but like the green was kind of like coming out. Kind of bled over yeah. into the shoelaces, like they got so at wet. At that point, I'm just like, whatever I get, I get. Yeah. I paid twelve fifty for them. They still sold for thirty five with discount shipping, so mm -hmm. I still make a pretty decent profit. And then these are the brand Twisted X. I feel like I've sold it only like one other time, maybe a pair of boots. They're really cool. Um, Basket weave on the yeah. upper. So. I paid ten ninety nine. Someone offered seventy five on those. So wow. I was very happy to accept yeah. that. Yeah, that's a good sale. Yeah, definitely look out for that brand in good shape. All right, and then these last two, right? That was it. I believe so. Okay. There's so many. I mean, you had what, like over fifty sales? Yeah, I was. I mean, it was a whole week's worth. So. Yeah, but I mean, that's actually pretty good. Like you still averaged about ten a day, yeah. right? Even though we were like on vacation and away yeah, time, just away like while mode. we were packing those up, I've had five more sales, which we're not gonna go get till like two more days from right. now. But it's crazy, like it's been good. Yeah, <laughs> good, good, good. Um, all right, so these are Thoroughgood, which is a great brand to look out for. These were missing their insoles, and I still paid up to twenty dollars for them. I was hoping to about double my money. No color ID. <laughs> Scammer. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, twenty dollars into, I was hoping to double, but I did not. <laughs> so someone offered forty. They'd been listed a few months at this point, so I just took it. So yeah, on posh that leaves me with what thirty two. So yeah, eleven twelve dollars profit for a missing insole. Right. But I mean, when you're missing insoles, you're more likely to take a, yeah, a better offer. Yeah, it's just funny because anyway. like on some stuff, ten or eleven bucks, I, I'd be like, that's awesome. <laughs> I made ten dollars, yeah, but right. like on something where I hoped to make twenty, I'm like, well, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's pretty good. It's it's pretty okay. Like if I make ten dollars <laughs> on every shoe I listed, I would, you know, at least make two hundred bucks a day minimum. Yeah. So, this was the sale of the week. Um, always love finding this brand, Danner. Danner. Yeah, I don't know if you can make it up. Hard there, to but see, but maybe I'll try to put it up on the screen. Yeah, they make all sorts of different kinds of boots. Obviously, these are a better pair. They got the Gore-Tex. I think they're a hard toe. So. Things like that are gonna make them sell for a lot more, and this yeah. pair sold for 140 on Posh. Ooh. So I only paid 15 for them, so really good sale. I did want to mention I had to upgrade the label on Posh on these to over like five a seven pounds. pound label, so that was about nine dollars out of pocket, which still I'm profiting over eighty dollars. But yeah, if you didn't know on Posh, you get you know the buyer pays the first five pounds. If mm -hmm. it goes over that, you pay basically like four fifty a pound up mm -hmm. to I think you can go up to 10. I don't think you can go above that, so. Right. Be careful what you list. Yeah, yeah. I was listing some plates on eBay before we left, and those are like 11-something pounds before I boxed them, so I was like, oh, I can't put those on Posh unless I split them. Right. So, yeah, I actually had to do that with that four-item bundle as well. I had to do one pound extra, so. Yeah. Hey, That's it happens. what sold for the last awesome. week of vacation. That kind of reminds me of a question that we had. Maybe you guys could help answer. We haven't looked into it. We probably should. <laughs> but... Um, the length restriction. Remember, we were right, thinking right, like, right. does Poshmark can do the twenty? What is it like, twenty three? Yeah. Twenty three inch I don't length. Know exactly. But yeah, I was listening. I was trying. I haven't listed it because I'm like, I don't know. A little toddler t-ball bat, and then I have like a, just like a picture that was on the wall at our old house. It's probably twenty three inches. So yeah. It's not heavy and it's not thick or anything. It's very thin. Yeah. So like, I could probably fit it in like one of these longer. We might boxes. angle it or so. Right. Yeah. So there's, I feel like there's a few options, but we were just not sure. I imagine Poshmark has the restriction, but yeah, I, just, I don't know if we've ever seen that. <laughs> we haven't come across it yet. So yeah, I just know a lot of people talk about like on eBay, golf clubs, baseball bats, anything long is just, yeah. you get that extra $4, whatever. So 
I don't know. I'm Let us know if you know. <laughs> At least point us in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Great sales numbers Yeah. <laughs> over the week. I don't know. It was at least over $2,000 in gross. Yeah, so. for the week. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll keep going with that. Yeah. So normally on a, on a normal day, you what, how many average sales? Um, like pretty much like, this whole year, I've if you average it all out, it's been about 11 a day. So. 11 a day. Yeah. So you went from 11 to 10. That was even, yeah, when I was consistently listing. So, so pretty not, good. Not too bad. <laughs> And then, yeah, you guys saw the mess in my office. That's yeah. what we get to work on. That's what we're doing next. Let's take a <laughs> it's walk. It's just a bunch of... I mean, we just everything. would not have been able to do what we did in here. No. But Yeah, I kind of put everything in here before we left. The shoes I was trying to, like, photograph, so I had stuff to list, but I didn't really have time to do anyways. Yeah. Some of this just needs to go to storage, but yeah. Just got to work through it all because I don't like this clutter and mess. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.